Hello there, my beautiful soul fans. My name is Catalina. Welcome back to my channel, Moonlight Awakening. I am an awakening coach. I also do angel readings. And, you know, um, I have closed my Etsy shop, but I'm still selling my beautiful creations. My new creations, by the way, it's already out there. If you've been following me on Instagram and on Facebook, just especially like this one that I love. Even, even if you wear black, it still like pops right like i'm wearing black you think it's gonna clash and i gotta show oh it is and i'm gonna make a video about it of all the my beautiful jewelry my new ones by the way okay okay so and on facebook i, I do go live there a, a lot and um and if you have social media and would like to contact me about my services or my jewelry you know uh please um i do have an email as well please ch please check down below um, okay, I think that's it. Yeah, and any other information, okay? Please check. Okay, dog. So, um, the reason why I wanted to this time communicate with Ganesh um, is because, you know, I have so many soul family from from India, okay? And like, you know what? This time I'll communicate with it. Ganesh is a Hindu god. Okay? He's very, very popular. And I'm um, like, you know what? I'll do this for my and uh, anybody else too that really wants to know the guidance from Ganesh, okay? And yeah, you know, the first time, like, I have never really, like, um, back then, I didn't really communicate with um, Ganesh. Ganesh, he's a um, reminder <clears throat> uh, that he's like the one with an elephant head, okay? That's him, <clears throat> okay? And Anyway, I was just reading it. Somebody brought it up in a video. You know what? And I felt, you know what? I'm going to read about him. Find a little bit more about him. Okay? So anyway, I'm reading about him. And, and I don't know. When when I was reading all about him, I felt this sense. I just, I was feeling something. I was feeling some type of um, emotion within me i was like oh my like i was like wow okay maybe that's the reason why i felt like i should look him up and i felt this emotion come over me i was like wow okay <laughs> that's pretty cool and um again i don't know why i just felt it you know when you know when your soul knows your soul knows okay and anyway um and yes i have communicated with him i ha I, I did call upon him to assist me um in areas of my life um again uh you don't have to i'm just you know i'm just sharing my um ganesh experience so what i that i also that i have so far okay so um you know ganesh does have does does have parents um his father named uh, shiva and his mother named uh Par parvati parvati I don't know. I don't know if you're saying it correctly. <laughs> you can correct me <laughs> if I said it right or wrong. Anywho, um, and everybody trying to figure out the story about his head. There's this huge story going around, this huge myth or something that like, oh, he got his elephant head because, you know, his head got chopped off. They embarked into his house his head got chopped up by someone a, a really bad person and then his father i i believe of uh, shiva went to um you know went to you know to look for another head so he decided to chop up an elephant's head and put it on his child first of all that's a horrible story yeah your child gets chopped off so you so you go uh, chopped off another innocent creature's head that's like for me that stories is someone that is low vibrational some of the people who make up stories like like that they're because they're vibrating low and they make up all these things you know so it's like uh -uh. The, the the thing is the real story he was born that way first of all he was born that way hit the i feeling yeah he was born that way he was born with an elephant head i feeling yes okay because again elephant represent wisdom and he had the wisdom that, that's why he was born the elephant head i feel it 10 times yes okay not time we chopped up some poor little elephant creature no 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 okay so that's the real story okay he was born like that okay 
so um you know he's a god of new beginnings and also success and wisdom of course and he also remover of obstacles and um i remember and let's see and and yeah so that's the so far that i know about you know uh ganesh and i don't know i just once i search all about him i just i just really want him like like in my life and just have i still need to get a uh, a statue of him i don't have one so i need to look for one so yeah um he's more than just like oh to bring prosperity he's more than that we he remo remove our obstacles too okay and um and definitely he's full of joyness too so if you want more joy in your life call him in okay so anyway so this one okay uh, trying to get comfortable here okay so so now we're gonna call on ganesh to give us any guidance or advice uh, for april 2021 okay with a beautiful uh cards a hundred and some hundred and something and there's always a perfect one to show up coincidence i think not okay so let's call call upon ganesh okay and i've called upon him before so and i felt his power i was like whoo wow <laughs> like whoo yeah okay um ganesh i'll call upon you now um with loving gratitude um please give us any advice for april 2021 ganesh call you call you call upon you now please give you any advice who's watching this video give us any advice ganesh anyone that for april 2021 please give us advice with these beautiful cards please let me know please let us know ganesh any guidance or advice Ooh, two came out oh i got some chills okay the one the one's facing up and one's facing down okay okay yeah i think but this is a uh, the the one that came first okay thank you our angel i mean <laughs> our angel oh. thank you ganesh for your beautiful guidance let's see here okay first i got two two came out okay one was facing up one was facing down so the one that would really face up to be aware of okay this one come came first i'm going to look at this one two of michael oh unicorns have you seen the the uh, my previous video about unicorns ah, ah, ah. okay so anyway sorry about that got too excited there <sighs> okay it said so when you look at this image it says it will be better if we just make a decision over analyzing the a problem find a compromise so some of you can figure it out you're like okay should i do this should i do that should i should, should, should i do this first should i should i like i don't I, like you being pulled i'm feeling yes like some of you are definitely being pulled i don't know what to do should i do this should i do that should i quit my job should i start really uh showing my wisdom and knowledge already am i really ready la la la, la. it's just, it's just like i'm uh, feeling a lot of yes yeah, some of you a lot of you maybe many of you maybe some of you over analyzing things so you don't have to okay make it would be better if you just make a decision over not over not over analyzing the problem see like this one like the two unicorns there's two decisions two decisions this one or the other one right you just going going in circles and circles and circles find a or if you have to find a compromise then find a compromise you remember there's always a new dawn so even if <clears throat> okay for for me for example um i was trying to figure out to i was i was trying to figure out if um okay i was trying to make two decisions by the way i didn't know which one should I do this or should I do that and what i learned about trying to make decisions <laughs> it's about it's about like um shut shut up your shut up your head right here like in a loving way just in a loving way you know what i mean shut up I'm, i mean i meant to say shut up and listen that's why i need 
I want to say shut up and listen. So, cause, cause, oh, whenever I'm trying to figure out something or or a decision, you know what I do? I just like, okay, I put it out there, and now they know what it is, and then, and then I was, and then I shut up. Then I shut up <laughs> in here, and I was like, you know what? I just, uh, and then you just, 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 just think, you know, just stop thinking about it. Stop thinking about it. Just go through your day. If a day passes, if you don't, if you haven't figured out the answer yet, that's okay. You go the next day. I knew there's a new dawn. Here goes the next day. Again, stop thinking about it. You already, you, you already, you already put that intention. You, you want to know something. So again, um, and again, you you wait and see what what comes to you. If it has to happen another day, that's okay. Let it wait another day. But again, stop thinking about it. Just stop. Take your mind off of it. Before you know it, it will just come. One time I had a decision where it just came the day of the full moon. When I woke up, bam, I thought it just come into my head. I was like, oh, I was like, yes, perfect. And there's another decision I was trying to figure out. Um, um, a place to move here, over there, la 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 la. You know, like you know what? Why am I being so picky? And if before you knew it, like you know what? I I do that. Why am I beating myself for it? Why am I, you know, stressing about it? Right. So this is what the. This is what. This is two of M Michael says. Okay, again, all you need to do is shut up and listen. <laughs> and I'm telling you in a loving way, though. In a loving way. Okay, this is what it says. Two. It would be better if you just make a choice. You're struggling with a decision. Mm -hmm. Either over not analyzing the situation or hoping it will go away. Your heart is in conflict with your mind. Again, this and this two different things. Okay, um, you're avoiding making a choice, right? Because you're having a conflict with your head and your mind your head and your in your heart <clears throat> okay so this can be exhausting and creative unnecessary stress you're creating unnecessary stress trust your ability to make a wise and in intuitively sound decision a solution is quite possible but compromise will be necessary search for middle middle ground even a temporary fix will get things moving again. Other additional meanings, not listening to your inner wisdom. What do we talk about? The Ganesh is full of wisdom. He can help you with that. Spinning your wheel. Remember like I keep doing this wheel, you know. Um, and suppressing your emotions. Maybe you know what to do, but you're avoiding about it you're you're not trusting yourself um you know like what i think i'm think i'm crazy what if nobody's interested um again i don't know where my channel was gonna go but i trust on them and they told me i was ready i'm like okay let's do this um it's, it's about doing step by step there's this i've had this beautiful soul sister that she wanted a client she she wanted a um um coaching and she didn't know this decision either to to help the poor or be like a counselor for like a addicts addict for addictions and she didn't know she felt like she was being pulled here but again why not do both so, some situations why not do both you know you know they can help get that income you need but being a counselor uh, for addictions and then you have that extra money to then help the poor see Things like that. If not, you know, you have to figure something out. And again, you can call on Ganesh to give you that inner wisdom that you have within you. Yes. Okay. So, so, so okay. So, just yes, know that. He, yes. He said, yeah. Okay. And then the other one says, Knight of Raphael. <clears throat> Look, all that green right there. Okay. It says, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. Look, horse. I got all these horse. horses. Oh, unicorns, horse. And a white, white horse, white unicorns and white horse. Look at that. 
Okay, it says committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Okay, uh, okay, I get it now. Okay, you don't know, figure out what this is. Should I do this? Should I do that? La 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 la, right? You and this is the thing what makes your heart happy? The sound of it, how, how does it make you happy? Should I do this? But how, if you do this, how is it gonna make you feel? Yes. How's that gonna make you feel? Think about that. How's it gonna make my heart feel? Not my mind here, remember? Shut up, shut up the mind here. How's it gonna make me feel? Right? You, you know, and I remember that um, I was also guided to like, hey, you know, do, stop doing some jewelry. And I was like, you know what? I don't know, but then they brought it up the topic again. Come on, stop doing some jewelry. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll do it. It sounds fun. I, I do like being creative, you know? Um, and here we go, you know, like, and, and then voila, my second new jewelry collection that I have, you know, and it, it came out beautiful. And so again, how it's going to make you feel? Just thinking about it. You, how's it going to make you feel? Shut up here. It'll make you feel think about that remember committed romantic relationships meaning like not actually being in a relationship but but like more like you committing your relationship to your new to your let's say my jewelry i have a, i have this relationship with my jewelry that i'm now i'm like i gotta keep going and keep making more and more and more and more and more okay and uh, being swept off your feet because it makes you feel happy uh, it makes you feel joyful when you're sharing like when i do here when i share things that i just it gets me really really excited right situations or topics that make your heart flatter right ah oh, yes yes you know you just feel it and you feel it okay so let's see night of Raphael. you know i feel it's a lot of joyful you know how i say ganesh joyful ah i feel his joyfulness See? You, okay. Because <clears throat> I feel like, ah, and I know Ganesh has a type of energy makes you feel really joyful. So here we go. Okay. So, um, situations. Okay. Be prepared to be sweat off your feet. Someone has the ability to bring deep emotions into the surface. This card often represents falling in love. It can also hurl a creative or artistic creative or artistic proposal and career opportunities as well as situations or topics that make your heart flutter happily what did i just say <laughs> okay people someone who is a champion of emotions and artistic and devours a person who is is in love with love itself and anything romantic poetic dramatic optimistic uh sophisticated introspective okay uh, additional meanings Engagement and weddings, rose-colored glasses, powerful emotions that need to get grounded. So you're going through all these emotions again because you're bringing all those. Remember all this water. Because again, you're bringing all the also emotions to the surface as well. Maybe it's another thing. How to make a decision? Ground yourself. Feeling yes, go out in nature like I am. You know, just. Uh, look at if you have puffy clouds just look at the clouds see if you see any any type of signs up there I know I was I always look up the clouds and I've seen such incredible things in the clouds okay um and and you know hugging a tree talking about it to the tree like you know what I do I hug it and talk about it a lot and sometimes like the way when I'm talking out loud it feels like it's, it's like and I makes the decision that I was thinking about it, it just I was like it's just like oh yeah like it makes more clear so if you need to talk it out loud while hugging a tree you know do it <laughs> um and uh, if you're near the ocean uh, ground yourself ocean ocean look at all the water energies grounding with the water energies um helping asking Ganesh for that guidance that you need that you don't need to over over analyze things that's the thing you don't have to what I've learned once I shot up here it makes more clear and it comes to me and I know my divine team has helped me on that you know or I just step into my wisdom as well and I was like you know what you know what I'll 
yes exactly that's what i'm gonna do that's exactly what i'm gonna do you know so let's see anything else here and yeah so i was like wow so i'll let you see over now lysi need need to self ground you're over now lysi figure out ways that it makes your heart happy and here it is so look at that oh wow thank you ganesh for this incredible guidance that we all need um so yeah call upon um um ganesh to help and assist you um so yeah so uh, anyway like and subscribe for more videos to help you on your spiritual awakening journey and until next time bye